streaming so many computer issues just driving me nuts the last 24 hours between two of the cameras in here wanting to give me royal issues and my main PC um, its main storage hard drive seems to be kaput after five years um, so yeah, actually it's more like six to seven, but it has five years. I don't leave my computer on all the time. I used to though. And so it's got five years of uptime as a disc drive. It's got an actual spinning disc in it. It's not a solid state. And it's making all sorts of noise and it doesn't want to work it doesn't want to and so it's got a lot of semi crucial info like it I, basically i'm gonna have to reformat my main pc i think now uh, hey, Hashi. Welcome in Cosmic. Welcome in Zeeks. Welcome in Will. Welcome in Buns. Uh, thank you for that sub. Appreciate that. I, I, I think I'm gonna go for Zeke Kev. Appreciate that though. <laughs> no, all my stuff is piecemeal. But if you're wondering about the hard drive, the hard drive was Seagate. You know, I'm pretty sure that I own a Samsung hard drive somewhere. I, I'm pretty sure I've got a solid state Samsung somewhere. Where it is is a different question. And whether I'm regularly using it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a, a portable hard drive that's a Samsung. Toshiba?
Yeah, my main PC is running off of an M.2 with 500 gig M.2. Um, I posted a photo of it in the Discord not too long ago, so if you scroll up, you can actually see it there. It's sort of like blue compared to everything else. It doesn't have a heatsink. But it's in a place where I don't really have room for much of a heatsink on it anyways. I'm not going to get another S... Well, the M.2 is fine. It's the... 8 gig drive, 8 gig disk drive that I had for storing... I had it... Before I had my NAS set up, it was basically all of my major storage. And... And then it became... Hardware program... Or programs... Uh, miscellaneous storage, short-term storage, local storage. Yes, sir. Eight terabytes. I've had my fair share of, before I had this eight terabyte, I had several external hard drives. The external hard drives are nice, but the power supplies on them, in my opinion, always are horrible and they always die too quick. Uh, actually, I think in just about every case, it was either a power surge or an issue with the power supply, some sort of power issue that killed all of them. And actually I've been worrying lately about my power connection here in this house too with not that I'm running a ton of power like I have a decent amount of power and I probably have too much power for a small house like this but at the same time I'm not like I don't think I'm like egregiously. Uh, what I'm worried about is how my signal seems to, I, I don't have the greatest, uh, I get light flickers, I get light fluctuations, I get power outages. Yeah, that's something I should probably invest in. I used to have a power supply back in the day, but I never properly replaced it once the battery in it died. Meters.
speaking of being hot. Turning the oven on. Yeah, and I don't know what the temperature is outside right now. I know it's in the 80s today. Yeah. Welcome in everyone. Happy to have you with me. Cheers. Yep, I've been through days like that. I grew up with the Midwest, you know, Cuban 90 degree, like it wasn't necessarily uh, Florida humid 90 degree, but I certainly get the idea of what that's like with the whole, you're sticky, everything you touch is sticky. <laughs> hey Mel, welcome, welcome. Wedge salad. So I am going to start off tonight by roasting tomatoes. I normally don't trust vine ripened tomatoes, but this time of year I'll take them. For those of you in the United States, our legal definition when something is sold as vine ripened means the tomato was at least 10% red, which means a majority of the time, they're picked basically green. Which, for home tomatoes, you know, having tomatoes around the home, fresh tomatoes, I can understand that. Like, you can harvest tomatoes early, and they still continue to ripen. And I, I respect that when you're, you're trying to get them out because you're worried about pests, you know, rodents, whatever insects, rodents, trying to eat them before you get to, birds. But when it comes to it, just for transportation and you end up with tomatoes in the middle of summer that look like this, like this, 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 this is just sad. I'm very much happy that I'm roasting these because these tomatoes, yeah.
Did that work? Are the cameras free? Cameras are free. Okay. So salting. Pepper. So these are ready to go in the oven. Once the oven is on the temp. Now I'm gonna prep the zucchini. And take the tops off of these. And give them a rinse. Who knows what dust they got walking home. from the old supermarket. I didn't make it to the farmer's market today. I'm gonna be honest with chat, tonight's been, been a pretty uh, low motivation day. Too thin, too thick. I think that's maybe a bit too thin. I'm actually thinking that's probably enough for tonight's project. I don't need the second one. I'm gonna bag the second back the second one up. Wait, there's king cake?
I've actually never had king cake. I know what it is, but. The real question is, is who gets the goodie and the king cake? <laughs> so we got our slices of, of zucchini I'm going to I already grabbed it put some fine salt over the top of these Salt's gonna help draw out moisture and help it so that when we go ahead and fry these a bit later, they don't turn into a wet mess. Oh, you did you changed that. Okay, I'll let you keep that. So we got our zucchini ready to go. Talk about a niche scramble. Do I want to slice this yet? I don't think I want to slice this just yet. I think we're going to go into other stiffs. good here chat let's see what we get here oh we left out I haven't had the best luck with onions here lately I've had some pretty nasty onions this year
Tomatoes going in the oven. Just catching my earbud as it falls out of my ear. Nothing, nothing special there. I forgot I got hard neck garlic. Ooh, we got some good garlic chat. I forgot I bought that last Sunday. That's more than clove. It has to be. Which makes me think I need to make some fermented garlic honey. Mm. You want to talk about the perfect condiment to have around home for your pizza crust. Ferment some garlic and some honey. And just drizzle that over the top.
little oil in the pan. It's cooking oil. Sort of regretting buying those tomatoes now. I should have just stuck with canned tomatoes. I've been doing canned tomatoes for my sauces lately. <laughs> if I can get nice tomatoes, like I couldn't even find Romas today. Like normally I just buy Romas, quarter Romas and do them like this. Nice and warm back here yet, oil. pinch of salt. Add that garlic in there now too. out of flour again. Keep running out of this stuff. It's almost like I got some fairy coming in here stealing my flour.
you know, one of those, one of those um, things someone does to just make you think you're going nuts, sort of a thing, where, you know, room full of cameras and computer, and they just steal flour from you regularly, so it just runs out. It was you, huh, Bonds? Heat off on that, just gonna let that coast. Welcome to my flower cleaning stream, chat. What are your techniques for cleaning your flower bin? These eight tips will get you a perfect looking flower bin Number five will shock you. broke on me, but I'm keeping most of it. It's 
that's one mostly of a yolk and three whole eggs along with it. Come on. Quit sliding, Shell. Kept squirting out from underneath my fingers. I say I'm sort of the opposite of that disease. I leave my sugar in the bag half of the time, depending on which bag, which sugar it is. Like my brown sugar, I keep in a bag in a container. My head's tilted because my earbud's falling out again. My hands are coated. Ew. Gumbo flavor, what? Buns, don't give Zeke's ideas of things to put in the ingredient challenge.
Next thing you know, I'm going to have gumbo challenge. Have to make dessert using gumbo. All be your fault, buns. All your fault. Why won't you need though? Nice cosmic. I have a feeling there's been a submission to the ingredient challenge about Which by the way, it's still tied last I looked. Between Jello and pork rind for Wednesday. Awesome cosmic. I just felt rushed all day today. Like, I just felt like I had no time to do anything all day today. It's one of those days where you just, I was just sort of like hitting my head against the wall the entire day because I'm trying to get stuff off of this dying hard drive and I think even just spending the day to day was too much effort it was the thing's just done like I, I've run several tests on it uh, I downloaded uh, the diagnostic software from the hard drive company and ran all that, that all came clear. It's making noise, so it's obvious that it's on its last legs, but I thought I would maybe even get some sort of estimate out of that as to what I could get out of it. And after that just sort of failed, it did nothing but other, otherwise tell me, you know, it looks like it's fine. Then half the time it doesn't even act like it's uh initialized in disk manager so i've been trying to get everything off of that i think i've got just about everything there backed up there are a few things that sort of like eh. like i had my it's been years since I've played EverQuest, but I had my install of EverQuest still on the system. And if you're familiar with EverQuest and, and the way you can edit things with it and modify essentially the entire uh, UI, uh, you basically had to back in the day. It was so bad that I'm sort of keeping that just in case I ever got pulled back in. But at this point, I've had that on my computer like that for so long that if I went back to EverQuest at this point, 
I would think the game's probably structured so differently and set up so differently that I'd have to redo it anyways. So that's one of the major last few things that I think I want to try and get off of that drive, but... It's got all my downloads from the computer from the last, you know, year or so, and stuff like that. Pasta dough is starting to look like it's working nice. I'm waiting for the pre-roll to finish before I, I'm just going to keep kneading until the ads are done. Actually, we're going to refresh the page to make sure that it's actually showing ads right now. which I'm just showing the 90 second ads to get rid of the pre-roll. I'm glad you're doing well with your pack in there, Cosmic. I am certain it will make your life much smoother and much easier in the next coming days. Thirty seconds left. Awesome. All right, we're gonna allow that to rest up. Allow my arm to rest up. So these are looking nice. I'm going to take some paper towel and wipe those off. Pull the moisture off of the top of them. That didn't work enough. We need more. Need more paper towel. I'm gonna flip them and resalt it.
using the pine salt, trying to get a nice even coat instead of spots. We can get our flour ready for those too. Luckily, I got a couple of different flour containers. You know, it would help if I had properly labeled these at one point. I'm relatively certain I'm using them right. I'm relatively certain that that's bread flour and I'm relatively certain that's uh, uh, Durham. I know this came, this is normally AP flour. Does that count? Let's see how these tomatoes are looking. I'm guessing they haven't been in there long enough, but they might have been. Ooh, we're gonna give those a little longer. What else do we got? I know, I'll slice the mozzarella. I just saw that dad joke. I didn't read that before just now. I'm sort of sorry that I did read it. I'm sort of sorry if I brought the chat's attention to read it. It's a rather stuck up joke. <laughs> that one's cute. Plane trips, you gotta go for the protein. Cheese, hard boiled eggs, dried meats.
there's an actual science to airplane eating and there's actual like studies and stuff because altitude changes things and so like the menus that they formulate for the food that they serve is mostly the first class but the food that they formulate for airlines is very much designed to be eaten in the air there's actually some very interesting articles out there on it I mean, I would say tuna too, but that's sort of a, you know, you're closed in a can and you're in a can with a bunch of other people and to open up a can of tuna with a bunch of other people around, it's sort of one of those things that the smell, okay, maybe not, uh. There's also stories about how airlines, you know, eliminated an olive from the salads and saved millions of dollars a year sort of a thing. I think they game that these days, Mel. Well, I say game that, I, it makes sense environmentally too, but if you just have really small, um, legs of trips, you get lots of transfers, lots of, uh, stuff like that, you get a lot of short flights that you don't have to provide nearly as many services for. Shut me in Thank you for that raid. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for joining me. How are we doing tonight? I'd be making zucchini parmesan. We got zucchini here on the counter that I have salted, patted dry, and then just recently salted again, and it's already coated with moisture once again. Going to have to dry that off once again. Been a minute. How's Hawaii treating you? You getting all this hot weather like the rest of us in the states, or are you much more com comfortable there? Super hot. Right now, let everyone coming in know what's up, what I'm doing here. We got our zucchini that I've salted and I'm trying to m reduce the amount of moisture in before I get into frying them. We've got a pasta dough that I've just finished up pan kneading a couple of minutes ago. And so we're gonna allow that to rest a couple more minutes before I start rolling that out with the pasta machine. I was just cutting some mozzarella since we were sort of hanging out here for the minute. We got our flour set aside here for our zucchini in the future. Let's go ahead and put this mozzarella in a bowl or something to hold on to it for a little bit here. So these are going to be obviously for melting over the top of those beauties. So what were you cooking tonight? We're, we're, we're wines eating tonight. Give this heirloom a cut up while, while we're waiting on stuff. The major thing that I'm waiting on here, I haven't even meant, gotten to talking about, is I've got a whole bunch of like vine ripen, not very good looking, but 
tomatoes roasting in the oven. I'm roasting them down. We're gonna turn them into a sauce with the onions and garlic that are on the stove. Gonna puree them together after I give them a quick cook together. Strain any major large pieces of skin out of that after giving a blitz in the blender. And that'll pretty much be it. Add a little basil in there, some seasoning. It's all you need. Racing games. Interesting. That's uh, quite the undertaking. There's not many games that are doing that level of stuff these days. You throw the excess in with the tomatoes, or in with the onions. Like you sort of hear about the is like you don't have a whole lot of games that are building out big worlds anymore, you know. Like maybe GTA, um, wow, it's all like well, that's it too. Is, is so much of the stuff is like instanced and, and small scale content. game starting out saying, you know, we're gonna build an entire world and they get like half a city and then they give up because they're not making any more money. Game dev is rough right now. <coughs> I'll go in into fintech. fintech and mobile games, but mobile games, not so much. Wow, that's impressive. I guess maybe I'm wrong about that in some ways, too, though, because, like, didn't they have a really impressive, like, game world that they just essentially gave away that came out with the most recent Matrix? They did something with that. Like, they had this, like, VR world or something. more paper towel soak up all of that 
zucchini juice. Duck down here so chat can see the watermarks. I mean, it's still soaking through the paper. Tomatoes, we done roasting yet? Nope. You still need longer. When was this thing produced? What, what's the year on this thing? 1980? 86, wow. That's relatively new compared to what I thought it was. I was just sitting here looking at the yellow handles or the the plastic handles. I'm like, yeah, those weren't originally that color, but they weren't white either. It's got a service merchandise sticker on the bottom if that's nostalgic to any of you. It's sort of nostalgic to me. I honestly don't know what service mer I, I went into service merchandise as a kid a couple of times with my family. But I honestly don't know what the store was like I got the, impre the the impression I got of it is it sort of reminds reminds me of a modern day pawn shop like I remember there being just like glass cases everywhere I want to say it was entirely a commission sales like business too. I don't know. I like I said, I, w I was like a kid or a toddler, or maybe I was slightly older than that, but my memory just isn't there. Welcome back, Ham Hawk.
I can make a very poor joke about not reloading or something like that, but I'm gonna... Uh-oh, Hamhawk, you've been nicknamed. late for lunch. Well, thank you for hanging out with me, Hamhawk. I appreciate it. I understand that everyone's got life, got other things going on. And on top of that, I half anticipate just about all of you have got me on like a second monitor while you're, you know, I don't know, doing work, doing studying, doing something else. Maybe you're off doing laundry. Maybe you got me on the TV set while you're cooking at home yourself. Do one more roll through at this size, just to make sure we're all happy at this thickness. about this thickness to go through there nicely. I am going to slice this in half. 
just to make it a little easier to handle. How you like the top look of that head there? That wasn't supposed to cut like that, Mike. Hey, hud. Just in time, we finish up my pasta rolling and cutting here. I'm just rolling a little piece of scrap here, see if I can't save this. Who's got the piggy emote? I can't scroll and look easily. Copy and paste. Control V, Control C are your friends. They're such friends of mine that I actually have them wire, uh, mapped to buttons on my mouse. Of course, my mouse is a trackball and has like seven buttons. Actually, it might have more than seven. It's got five additional function buttons. I've got a back and a forward, and then copy, paste, and, and uh, cut, copy, and paste. And then your normal Three buttons for a mouse and the wheel. This way.
I hooked it up to an LLM ham hock. It's it's sentient. It it knows what's going on in the stream, and <laughs> well, I don't think I've seen chlorofluorocarbon on there yet. I'm pretty sure that's in the dictionary. I'm trying to remember what all there was. There's some long ones. You know, there. Oh, hello. Welcome, readers. Thank you for joining in. Thank you so much, Kello. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Were we cooking tonight? Were we programming? What were we doing? Welcome in Raiders. Hello, I'm Jason. I cook here on stream four nights a week here on Twitch. Sometimes five, it's five this week. But, yeah, that's basically it. I cook here on Twitch multiple times a week, doing all sorts of stuff. Chat gets to dictate things. Uh, channel points, you can control what camera you're seeing the stream from. No worries, Cal. Thank you, for, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for sharing your community. just tossing our second batch of pasta here in some flour so it doesn't stick and I'm going to spread it out a little bit on sheet pan they're not rigged they're just sentient. Thank you, Kello. Those in chat are unfamiliar with the lovely Kello creations. He does 
his own cooking streams. He does coding and programming streams. You should give him a check out. One of the people I got to meet in TwitchCon in San Diego last year. He's tall. He's taller than me. But there's not many people taller than me. They're, they're, they exist, but... Let's take a look at these tomatoes. Tomatoes are probably done roasting now. Oh yeah, those are getting nice and roasty. Nice and roasty tomatoes. Turn this pan around and grab it on the other side here. And we're just going to slide these in. Okay. If you want to go that way, tomatoes, we can do that too. Makes it a little safer. Paper ain't gonna burn me. So we got our roasty toasty tomatoes in there with our onions and garlic. Let's kick the heat on back again there. Get some more heat underneath this. Heavy hand on the freeze dried basil. Delicate hand on the anchovy paste. Master splits. What if I told you this was a standard height counter? Congrats, HUD. Getting them sprinkles. That is a cup of plain old water. We want to bring that up to a boil here. Once this is up to a boil, we'll give that a blend. I'm over six. Yeah, 
Yeah, second time in a couple of days, but not in a row. We had another person win in between. You can be jealous of them, but realize that they often hit their head on things too. It's not fun for me trying to get my head with a toque underneath a, a hood fan. I tomatoed myself. All right, now we're gonna pour this into a blender. Uh-oh, it's stuck. Let me unfreeze the camera. Let me unfreeze the camera. Still not waking up. It's not even the same shirt. Unplugging and replugging in USB is trying to wake this thing up. I don't know why it's not showing the right vid, like... I fixed this issue with this once already today. There we go. There we go. Hi chat. Hi chat. Follow me camera. There we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that scramble looks a little bit like some sort of Jan Japanese anime name. I'm gonna mute for the blend.
And now the board's frozen. I have to be overloading something with my USBs. There we go. And magically, we have tomato sauce. And to pull out the major bits of skin, tomato skin and all that, we'll go through a rough mesh strainer. Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread gives you seven ounces of non-fat milk solids in every loaf. The equal of 90 quarts a year if you serve it regularly. Every sandwich you make, every snack, gives you extra milk. For wonderful flavor combined with sound food values, serve Schmidt's Blue Ribbon Bread in the pantry pack. Alexis Lachine wines are full of flavor. Alexis Lachine wines are dry. Alexis Lachine wines are mellow. Drink an Alexis Lachine wine with any kind of food. Or any time you feel like relaxing with a drink. Alexis Lachine, fine French wines. Something new has been added. The General Electric Portable Mixer now has a drink mixer for delicious shakes and juice drinks in quicker than a shake. An extra attachment at no extra cost. This GE Portable Mixer weighs less than three pounds, yet it's powerful enough to blend the heaviest batter. Also mixes sauces at the range. It has low speed for cookie dough, medium speed for beating frostings, and high speed for whipping egg whites. And look, this handy push button releases the beaters at a touch. And no dangling cord. You can remove the cord so it stores neatly on the wall. Comes in four decorator colors. See it at your GE dealers. Does any mixing job anywhere. If you're a student, a mother active in club work, a man who brings work home from the office, this was made for you. The Remington Office Writer, a new kind of portable designed to give you the extra features you need. King-size carriage, so long it can handle a sheet of school notebook paper lengthwise. Look, the Office Writer types nearly the full 11-inch length of the paper, the only portable it can. The Office Writer types up to 10 carbons, so that even the very last copy is easy to read. Cuts clear, clean stencils unlike any ordinary portable. See the exciting new Remington Office Writer at your dealers. The price only $149.50, carrying case at slight additional cost. Available after a small down payment for only $1.50 a week. Terms payable monthly, including taxes and a small carrying charge. Now, at your favorite grocery store, the most amazing food wrap ever developed, Saran Wrap. Have you tried Saran Wrap? It really is amazing. Saran Wrap is crystal clear plastic. It keeps everything you wrap in plain sight. And look, Saran Wrap clings like magic. It makes a neat package of anything you wrap, without strings or tape or rubber bands. Foods stay fresh far longer. 
and tastes better too because the flavor is locked in. Now you can prepare sandwiches for picnics and lunch boxes ahead of time and be sure they'll stay fresh and tasty. You see, Saran Wrap is a wonderful time saver as well as a food saver. Prove it in your own kitchen. Buy a roll of Saran Wrap today and you won't be without it again. Get Saran Wrap at your grocer's. Saran Wrap is a product of the Dow Chemical Company. Starting off right where we left off, gonna strain that tomato sauce. Someone was asking how did I get such a brown color in it, considering it's a tomato sauce. Well, you can take, I'm not using the greatest tomatoes known to man. If you look at them at the beginning of the stream, they were vine ripened regardless of it being primed in summer season for them. These tomatoes were not that all that hot. I roasted them. I roasted them for a decent amount of time in the oven, so you're going to get all that char color, all of that roastiness in there. It's not going to be that same color or red, because bright red. And then I added a whole bunch of onion in there that I also cooked down browned a bit. Whereas you can pair this to your average, just basic tomato sauce at your, say your pizza sauce, it's gonna be much more red because they're not even gonna cook the tomatoes or they'll puree them and then cook them. I am master of splits. No, you're cool, ham hock. We're good. I don't even know what you said that you're worried about. It depends on your definition of what zucchini parmesan is. I'm going for the typical American Parmesan eggplant, ch chicken, veal, where we're, I'm gonna bread and fry my zucchini. And then I'm going to top it with my slices of fresh tomato and some mozzarella and get that a flash under the hot oven, get that all melty and gooey and delicious. Coat that with some Parmesan as well, not just mozzarella. But this is more for with the pasta back here, which spaghetti is not technically spaghetti since this is not round. But I think it's about the same size as spaghetti, otherwise. Get out of my way, chair.
Sounds like the sticker works better than most band-aids. Join him, huh? All right, we're now switching to breading our cut our zucchini. But as you notice, they're a little bit more sunken now. They've 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 lost a fair amount of liquid after being salted and and put on paper towels for quite a while. You can even see like the paper pattern in them. Get some water going here for our pasta water.
Small flame on the sauce, just keep it, just keep warm temp. Turn the microphone back on. I forgot to turn it off. I muted it because I was running water and it was loud. Sitting here wondering what's causing the haze in that egg. Yeah, I'm sort of tired today too because I didn't really get good sleep last night because I just had energy. Like, I was up at like midnight last night and I'm like, how am I going to fall asleep? supposed to put oil in this. Don't need a ton of oil since they aren't very thick. So it shouldn't take too long to heat up either. I'm going for panko tonight, chat. We're, we're gonna go panko tonight.
I tried melatonin for a bit and it didn't do much. It didn't really. And I then started reading studies that said the, the regulations on melatonin are all horrible and like the vast majority of the supplements out there are wildly inaccurate as to the actual uh, contents. But apparently some of the gummies that are out there are just way more powerful than their, their advertising and vice versa because I think it's partially because it's, it fades quickly. Like they don't last long. I don't know, is, is chat's experiences with that any different? Do we have any big fans of taking a gummy to fall asleep? I wish I could just take a gummy and fall asleep. Hi, Cam Hawk. We're waiting on temperatures. We're waiting on water to boil. We're waiting on oil to heat up. tonight. This is going to be for melting our cheese and goodies on top of our fried zucchini.
But since you're back, Ham Hawk, another word that I remember that's in the dictionary for the scramble, I don't think I've seen mono unsaturated show up yet. Does it include cucumbers? Or, or like face mask? Yeah, we can delay that. Fix my earbud volume. Have a good day, Ham Hawk. Parmesan out so that's ready. I think I got just about everything going here. it about the bottom of people's hearts that, that make it that makes it so much more heartfelt to come from did that make sense What about all those feelings from the top of the heart? I guess they just must, must not count. No? Okay. Alright, we're gonna finish spreading our first two pieces of zucchini. Drop our floured zucchini slices in the egg. Nice even coat. 
over into the panko. <laughs> Cosmic. Mel Hemhock was on the way out and he was saying from the bottom of his heart, you know, you know, wishing the best. And I was saying, what makes from the bottom of the heart so much better than say the top of the heart? <laughs> Buns. Gotta be close. Gotta be close. I think the truth is Buns is Chat's sweetheart. I was expecting this to raise in temp a little bit quicker than it has. It still need at least another 25 degrees. It's amazing how quickly, how close in temp we are here. And we're just breaking boiling over here despite this being so much shallower and much less to heat up. Oof. 
captions doesn't understand oof. I tried to say oof earlier before in, in the intro screen. I, I kept trying different ways of saying it, trying to get captions to pick up on it. They, it just wouldn't. And going in for the fry. Go a little longer with that. No worries, buns. I'm just happy it worked out for you.
Undershot my panko, overshot my eggs and flour tonight. Never get the three compartment, three, three stage breading right. Can never get that estimation right. I wasted like half a cup of flour and uh, I would say I wasted an egg. Didn't waste any panko though. Looks a little bit like I'm frying garlic bread, doesn't it? Darn focus. Fish and chips. No, that was like last week. Might have been like a month ago now. <laughs> Flame off on the oil. Hey, Blaine. Grab our second two zucchini slices out here. We'll start with Parmesan on top of all of them. I mean, that's the name of this dish, isn't it? Going with our heirloom tomatoes. Something like that. Oh well. Lost the center of that piece.
and give them a second top and a little bit more Parmesan. Hey, Zara. Salt. And pepper. I'm not going to bother with the the MSG, considering we have tomatoes and mozzarella or and parmesan here, and garlic. Lid on the oil. Don't need that with our boiling water here. Turn the water back up so we can get that pasta going. Ah, uh, stream's been going pretty damn good tonight. Got a little delayed because I had some more tech issues to start the night off. Once we got rolling, I was good. Today has been rough. Today has been, like, I say today has been rough. I, I, first world problems today has been rough, but you know, like nothing's actually really going wrong in my life. I've got some problems with my computer, you know, it's, you know. So we've got our crispy, crunchy fried zucchini now, and these are ready for the oven. I'm just waiting on my pasta now. Let's make sure our flame is on full with our tomato sauce back there. Dad jokes been tonight. Like, I don't know which has been worse tonight. Is, is dad joke or scramble been worse tonight, chat? For those just joining in, we have homemade roasted tomato sauce, vine ripe tomatoes that I roasted in the oven, get that nice color on them, and added them in with a whole bunch of cooked onions and garlic and freeze dried basil. And yeah, that'll do. Water's back to a boil. I think we're gonna go ahead with our pasta also made earlier. All of it in there.
Okay, zucchini is going in the oven. These sat actually longer than I wanted them to with the tomato. Could be a sog factor. Pasta's gotta be close. Give it a good shake up to get any of those last few clumps undone. Fine, I'll add a salt to our pasta sauce. We'll give that a toss with our pasta. Put it away already. I wasn't done with you, cheese. Sprinkle freeze dried basil over the top.
and we'll have our zucchini out here momentarily. I just turned the broiler on. The cheese has melted nicely on them. Just want to get that maybe a little bit of color on top. How we doing, chat? We all chilling tonight? We relaxing? Enjoying your Sunday? I can say that now that Ham Hawk has gone to work. <laughs> I would not be surprised by that, Blaine. Nitro Pepsi, huh? Eh? I gave that a shot once. I thought it was okay. I didn't know it was worth the price, but everything's that pricey these days now. Bulk online again. I was actually thinking of buying a whole bunch of Arizona iced teas and, you know, I mean, the whole owner controlled, it's only, a, you know, it's a dollar anywhere that isn't like privately owned. See if we can do those tongs. Let's see if they're yeah. I feel like I maybe should have put those on the side. That pasta was looking damn good just by itself before I added those over the top. Those ones over the top, they, they just sort of muddied things up. Like that still looks delicious to me, but visually it's too complicated. Sort of like the other night with the fish, the salmon I made like a week and a half, two weeks ago. I felt like I ruined that dish by putting that sauce over the salmon. It was damn tasty. Don't get me wrong with that. But it just wasn't pretty. I think this could have been prettier. I think this might have been a better composed plate with the, the zucchini 
separate because the zucchini now looks like it's all sa soggy and it's it's not it's actually just barely not strong enough to hold up under its own strength from being crispy But I do believe this wraps up dinner for tonight. I think I'm going to leave it there tonight, folks. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me tonight. I greatly enjoyed hanging out with all of you. Enjoy everyone coming and hang out with me on a regular basis now. This is awesome. Uh, gonna be back on Tuesday. More fun foods. I don't have anything in the calendar. I think it's gonna be a what I can come up with what I got around the house sort of a or maybe I'll plan something. I don't know. We're going to leave it up in the air for Tuesday. But I will be here on Tuesday. Then we got Wednesday. Ingredient challenge. Please vote in the Discord. The Discord, the the, the vote is tied. At least it, it was when I started the stream. Uh, we got a vote going between Jello and pork rinds. So either pork rinds or Jello for dinner and dessert on Wednesday. And lots of other fun stuff coming up. We got lamb dinner, roast lamb dinner coming up in the future. Um, it's going to be more of a lamb stew. Uh, someone asked for lamb, and I didn't notice who that was. And uh, yeah, we got. I want to do some steak here sometime soon. It's been a minute since I've had a steak. I hope you all have an amazing evening. Thank you for joining me. Good night.